All right, we're gonna put some uh, or a cadron together. We already have one put together and on the bus. So I figured I'd turn the camera on for this one and uh, show you what I know about a cadron. So not everything. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not a uh, expert. But I do have a little bit of common sense and uh, sometimes it works. So we'll go over a few things here and uh, show you what's what. Let me move this right here. Hopefully that'll be a good spot once I start pulling the stuff out of the tray to assemble it. First thing I like to start with is the carburetor body. You know, this is the uh, middle of the carburetor, I guess. Uh, this is your float bowl float bowl area, your main jet down at the bottom of the float bowl on these. You got a fixed air jet here and then you have your idle jet that goes on the side. So let's start there. First thing we'll do is just pop the idle jet in and uh, we'll just pick the parts as we go here. Get our main jet out. Or idle jet. Now if you're having trouble with your carburetor idling funny or the car not idling smooth, one carburetor seems to uh, drop off in an idle. A lot of times if you take this out, blow this hole out, clean the jet out, put it back in and it'll idle again. That's the idle jet. You can change these by different idle jets. We're going with this carburetor hat in it. Next, we're going to install the uh, the main jet. Make sure there's no restrictions. These were filled up with the uh, green matter. Carburetors have been sitting. They had some uh, alcohol in there, and voila! You can't have a carburetor sit any amount of time anymore because it just uh. They won't tolerate that, you know, with the fuel. Let's see if I can figure out what jet that is. Looks like a 127, so main jets will have to be increased more than likely. We'll, uh, We'll try this one and see what happens. It is a bone stock uh, 1600. I've never seen one with that small a jet. Usually it's a 130. If you got fat pickle fingers like me, this jet can be hard to start. Make sure you start these with your uh, fingers though. The jet's brass, you know, and you don't want to have a, uh, an issue with the jet. So. Uh, just take your time, start that with your finger, and make sure you get it tight. The other thing that we've already done here, uh, I've showed you how to do this in previ previous rebuilds on uh, 34 picks. Uh, you screw the tail light screw into this uh, plunger and pull that out and your accelerator ball's in there. I don't know if you can hear that. If it's moving, you're good. You wanna make sure that ball's free. That's the ball that's in the accelerator pump channel. Okay, so we have our uh, main jet installed. We have our idle jet installed. And uh, next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our uh, Venturi in the carburetor. Uh, this is one of those things that I think you have a set of these, Greg. These are your uh, Venturis. These are what they made bigger in your carburetor. This is a... Uh, uh, Solex and it's marked 4028, which I think is the stock one. Some fire truck action. This only goes in one way, it'll drop into position there. Make sure you uh, get it in the right way, because if you don't, the uh, when you go to put your plastic gasket or spacer there, it won't fit. Make sure it's flush around the top there, there's no gap. Now we're going to turn this over and put our set screw in. You'll need a little uh, screwdriver for the, these screws. 
Okay, so that's that. Got our main jet in, got our Venturi installed now. So the next thing will be our uh, squirter. We'll put our squirter in next. These are a little tricky, these little balls. You won't find that little ball on the uh, exploded uh, view. So don't lose these little balls. This goes under the uh, squirter. Make sure you get it dropped in. Make sure it's not on the magnet. You won't be able to see it. It's one of those things you just have to... Uh... Actually, I can see it with my magnifying glasses on. So next, we're going to install the squirter. I'll just put that right there. Actually, let's hold off on the squirter. We'll uh, make sure we don't tilt the carburetor and put the uh, Venturi in next. Or the emulsifying tube. Whatever you'd like to call it. Got all the pieces and parts here. The spring deal. Don't drop this stuff. Oh. All right. Now we're going to reinstall our booster. That just drops in. It's got a little uh, notch. And it's got this little set screw again. Goes right here on the end. Okay, make sure that's nice and tight there. We got our uh, booster in now. We got our little ball installed there. So now we're going to put our uh, squirter in place. And the squirter just uh, is positioned right next to the the booster that we just installed. I use a pair of uh, channel locks or needle nose pliers. Turn it sideways, you'll find one part of the uh, tube that has a little uh, section on it there where you can lay some pliers. Make sure it's uh, flush and we're good to go. Okay, we got our ball secured, we got our booster in there, we've got our main jet, we have our idle jet, we have our uh, Venturi or emulsifier installed. Next is going to be the accelerator pump in the bottom of the carburetor. So we're going to flip it on its side here. This is the accelerator pump area. The spring will drop in like this. It's a large spring. It's got a little uh, embossed section down at the bottom that, that spring sits in. You can't hardly get that wrong. Now this is a, uh, let's open the kit up now. We're going to just open the kit. Here's our carburetor kit, and you know, like everything else, there's a problem with it. It's made in the wrong side of the water. I don't understand how our country's come to this. Uh, you know, if anything ever happened with those guys, we'd be in trouble. Hopefully, uh, somebody kept the blueprints to all this stuff and knows how to uh, set the manufacturing back up. But uh, I don't think a carburetor kit would be $25. If it was a quality kit, you know, so this comes with a couple gaskets. It'll come with a base gasket. All right, we got the dog bone and we're back in business. That and the have one. That's why they call it a dog bone. Hmm? And it goes right here and holds this uh, float into position. Without that, it lets that needle rise up with the fuel in the bowl and it can cause a little bit of an issue, so. You want to have that. Next is our top gasket. Of course, it goes, uh, you know, this way. Top gasket will only go one way. Make sure all your holes line up. Just double, double check. It's got a little slot cut for your uh, squirter there. It's hard to get it wrong. Going to go ahead and drop our top on now. Mm -hmm. There's no dowel pins, so be careful, you know. Just uh, try to get your holes fairly close. 
Try to put the carburetor together the right way too, that helps. So there we go. And we'll install our uh, top bolts there. Again, starting by hand, you know it doesn't hurt starting by hand. It eliminates having to uh, mess with the threads on the carburetor. These things aren't the best metal in the world. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend a screw gun at this point. Not even turned down. But some of you might choose that way, so whatever. There's no wrong way. Whatever way you're comfortable with is what I say. Because you gotta be comfortable with doing it your way because sometimes it costs you. So as long as you're comfortable and you're having a good time, that's all that matters. Start these all, snug them down a little bit and then go back and tighten them. And you wanna make sure you get a nice, uh, Easy, 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 easy squeeze on the gasket there. Even, easy. There we go. A little shaky. Starting to get the mosquitoes here in Florida. Oh yeah. It's mosquito spray. So we had some more rain today. Hopefully, uh, all our YouTubers are safe. Some really bad weather out there the last couple days. Awful. And then we're going to snug these up. There you go, <clears throat> one rebuilt cater on. So that's how you do that. You go and gasket left is the carburetor and the manifold. We'll go bolt that back on and uh, give it a try. We should be a little closer tomorrow and uh, we'll fire it up. This one was, uh, oh, let me show you one other thing I like to do. I like to uh, take some gas. If you see this hole right there that fills the float bowl up, go ahead and fill your uh, float bowl up. There we go. Make sure your bowl is filled and then uh, of course if you spill some residual gas clean it up and then uh, work your carburetor until your accelerator pump works. This pump doesn't seem to be operating correctly. There we go. So we got squirt. Next thing we want to do is make sure we don't have any leaks around our diaphragm. Okay.
There we go. We got squirt. It's working fine now. We'll put the lock screw back on the accelerator pump. Sometimes you do have to adjust your squirter there. Turn the screw a little bit there and uh, get a little more squirt if you need it. So uh, that's pretty much it with the K-Ron. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. One other little thing I'm gonna add to the end of this video. We got the carburetor on, fired right up, and it runs decent. Tomorrow when it's daylight, we'll uh, do an idle mixture adjustment, adjust the other accelerator pump, and uh, tune that baby and get it out of here. But I uh, picked one of these up today when I was down at Scooter. Uh, temperature dipstick, a lot of guys have been asking about these, so I'm gonna do a video on this probably tomorrow, how to install this. Uh, apparently Gene Berg is selling these again. And uh, let me see if I can give you the part number there. Move that coil wire out of the oil real quick. Mm. It's GB227. 227. Temperature dipstick. So we'll do a little video on how to install that and uh, what exactly it does and how it works and how to wire it into the factory oil light. Alright guys, 